What's up everybody, it's Scotty the Marketing Dude back here at CC Power Sports Clarksville and today you know what we're riding, we're riding another scooter because I love little bikes. Uh, I love all motorcycles but here lately I've been riding a lot of scooters and uh, we're about to ride another so let me show you what we're looking at here. We're getting ready to take out a 2023 Honda Metropolitan. Kind of Honda's answer to the Vespa of yesteryear. 50cc four stroke little ripper here, it's a nice brown seat, beautiful machine. Let's get it out of the road and I'll talk about who this thing is for um, and uh, what I think about it. All right, let's get on the road, scooting. Well, hey there, it's Scotty the Marketing Dude out here in the saddle of the Honda Metro, just zooming. We're zooming through Clarksville. We're commuting, you would say, you know? We're just getting around town. Cut in front of this big Xterra here, show them who's boss. I'm gonna give them all of this 4.4 .4 horsepower behemoth underneath me. This thing will flat out get down, you know? You don't need much to have fun. At least I don't need much to have fun. I can have fun on basically anything with two wheels. I tend to enjoy them all. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just out enjoying the Honda Metro. We're actually kinda getting lost in Clarksville here. Uh, I'm not a Clarksville, Indiana native, so I just kinda took some turns and we're out zooming around. But I'm getting around fine. Nobody has been upset with me on this scooter. It goes uh, it goes the traffic speed, no problem. We've been up to about 35 miles per hour on this bad boy. And, uh, I've had no issues. I think it would even go faster than that. So at 4.4 uh, horsepower, she gets down. And this is, you know, one of the last, I think, dare I say, maybe the last 50cc offering uh, in a Japanese variety. You know, when we're talking about the big Japanese uh, motorcycle manufacturers, I think. I think the Metro and the uh, the Metropolitan, rather, that we're on right now and the Honda Ruckus may be the last two. So if you're looking for something that you don't need a license to operate, you know, uh, for whatever reason you may have, uh, this is maybe your last option if you want to stay Japanese. Now, if you want to go Chinese, there's plenty of stuff out there for that. Uh, but if you want to stay Japanese, kitties are waving at me. They like these scooters. If you uh, want to stay Japanese, you have to go basically a Honda Ruckus or a Honda Metropolitan. Um, and this thing is manufactured in Japan, and it will run you $2,600 MSRP plus tax fees. Tax, title fees, all that fun stuff. It's a pretty good deal. It's a nice scooter to get around. You know, maybe if you, like I said, if you don't really want to go for the big Honda, or, you know, the big Honda Grom, the big, <laughs> the 125cc Honda Grom, or the... 110cc Honda Navi or the 125cc Yamaha Zuma, um, you know, those bigger scooters, you want to stay at the 50cc mark, this thing will do 35, 40 mile per hour, no problem, uh, and it will get you around just fine. Let me try to figure out just how to get back to the shop here. I do not remember which way I went, so we're just kind of cruising right now. I think I need to turn back there. Anyway, eh, let's turn on Lincoln Avenue here and see what happens. I'm sure it runs out somewhere. But yeah, you've got a nice working horn. You can honk at people and say hi. They love it. Um, it's got turn signals. It's got high and low beams, which is awesome. And um, it's got a non-threatening four-stroke engine underneath you. And you are in what I like to call... And you know, I apologize for this. I call this the sitting on the commode position. You know, you're comfortably sitting on a flat seat. You've got your feet right in front of you. Just relaxed. Lean side to side, really easy. Nice, nice controllability here. 
Just very nice. Lovely motorcycling experience, scooting experience. Just a great all around machine, I love it. We do have this one left for the moment, although its twin brother is leaving the dealership right now. As, as I left, it was leaving. I don't know how much longer this one is going to be here. Um, it may leave with it. Uh, so uh, if you're interested, do not hesitate to call us. We probably have a few more on the way. We also probably got probably got a ruckus on the way, I would assume. I don't know when. I can't tell you a specific date. Um, it's going to be much the same experience, just maybe a little more radical looking of a scooter. Uh, a little more stripped down, bare bones, you know. Uh, I'll put a picture of one of those here. But uh, really cool scooters. This thing's great. I love scooters. I have an old 1982 Yamaha QT50 that I rip around the neighborhood at home uh, just to get around, man. You know, you want to go to the corner store, uh, get you a six-pack of sodas or something. You know, it's just great to have something like this around, especially if you live in a... You know, a nice area like this where you've got stuff that's close to your home. You can just zip over there on the scooter. Why get in the car? Why burn that? Why burn all that fuel, you know? Just zip around. Anyway, it's been Scotty the Marketing Dude. CC Power Sports Clarksville. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, give us a call at 812-948-1621 if you're interested in the new scooter or anything else that we carry. I am going to sign off. And, uh, yeah, I'll check you later. <laughs>